Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the six trigonometric ratios. This topic or this video is the first video for a series about trigonometry. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So basically, we need to define first what is the word Trigonometry. Trigonometry is the study of triangles and the relationship among their sides and angles. So basically guys, the word trigonometry came from the two Greek words. The first is trigonon, which means triangle, while the other Greek word is metria, which simply means measure. So all in all, when you say the word trigonometry, it implies that we need to study about triangle measurements. Okay? I think pinaka gist or concept ng trigonometry. We will study about the different measurements in a right in a triangle. Now when we talk about the six trigonometric ratios, it involves the right triangle. Here in our example, we have here triangle or right triangle A, B, and C, wherein we can name them, this is your side A, this is your side B, and this is your side C. And we will let angle theta be your acute angle. So say for example, this is your angle theta. So one of the key in studying the six trigonometric ratios is that you can identify which one is the opposite side, which one is the adjacent side, or which one is your hypotenuse with regard or with respect to your angle theta. So here, since this is your right angle, automatic, this side opposite to your right angle is your hypotenuse while with respect to your angle theta since this is your angle theta this side opposite to your angle theta is your opposite side and see with respect to angle theta this side your side b is your adjacent side hypotenuse adjacent side and your opposite side again let us review this is your hypotenuse because this side is opposite to your right angle this one is your opposite side because with, re with respect to your angle theta this side is opposite to your angle theta and this side is your adjacent side because that is adjacent to your angle theta so so right now, we are ready to identify the six trigonometric ratios in a right triangle given this angle theta. So focus tayo dito ah. The first function or trigonometric ratio that we have is yung tinatawag natin sine theta. Sine theta is equivalent to your opposite over hypotenuse. In which, given this right triangle, your opposite is your A, while your hypotenuse is side C. And the next one is your cosine. Cosine theta. Where in cosine theta is equivalent to adjacent ADJ na lang over your hypotenuse. And given this right triangle, your adjacent side is B and your hypotenuse is C and for the last function for the last ratio you have tangent theta you have tangent theta is equivalent to or the ratio for tangent is equivalent to opposite over 
adjacent or adjacent side and that is a over b these are the first first three trigonomet trigonometric ratios of this right triangle and the next part is you can talk that in reciprocal function of sine cosine and tangent the reciprocal of sine function is yung tinatawag natin cosecant function. So, if you have cosecant theta, para mas madalis nyo siyang maintindihan or you can easily identify or remember cosecant, simply get the inverse or the reciprocal of opposite over hypotenuse and that is opposite over hypotenuse. With respect to your right triangle, that is equivalent to C over A. Next, the reciprocal of cosine is secant theta. Wherein, for you to easily remember what is the ratio for secant, remember cosine, get the reciprocal of cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the reciprocal of it is hypotenuse over adjacent in which there is equivalent to C over B. And lastly, the reciprocal of tangent, which is what we call tangent theta, that is equivalent to the reciprocal of this opposite over adjacent, that is adjacent over hypotenuse, ah, sorry, opposite, in which that is equivalent to B over A. So these are the six trigonometric ratios of this right triangle. And para mas madali natin siya matandaan, ito, ito yung ginagamit namin. You can easily remember these ratios gamit itong mga shortcuts na to. We have so, ka, Toa. So, ka Toa stands for sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse where ka simply means cosine is equal to adjacent letter A over hypotenuse H. Toa is T stands for the tangent. O is equivalent to opposite over your adjacent. And sir, how about this three reciprocal function or yeah, reciprocal function? Since you have cosecant, secant, and cotangent, that should be co sha how. Simply means cosecant is equal to opposite. Ah, this is ano? This is H, sorry. This is H, ko, cha, kao. Cosecant is equivalent to hypotenuse over opposite. And S is for secant is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. And C is for cotangent is equivalent to adjacent over the opposite side. So these are the th six trigonometric ratios of that right triangle with respect to your angle theta. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving you an example wherein we will try to solve for the six trigonometric ratios. Now for our first example, we have here, find the six trigonometric ratios of angle theta. So given this right triangle, you have the sides of this right triangle as three, four, and five. So to find the sine theta, just remember you have so means um, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. With respect to your angle theta, this is your opposite side. Opposite side. Opposite. And since that is your opposite side, this will be your adjacent side. And this is your hypotenuse. So the value or the ratio of sine theta is equivalent to your opposite over hypotenuse and that is 4 over 5. Again, opposite 4 over your hypotenuse which is 5. 
Now let's move on with the cosine. For the cosine theta, there is ka, mean, simply means cosine is equivalent to adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent side here is 3 over your hypotenuse, which is 5, right? And for the tangent theta, we have the mnemonics. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent, in which this is your opposite, which is 4. And the adjacent side is 3. So let's move on with the next three ratios. We have the cosecant. Sabi ko kanina, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So we can reciprocate or get the reciprocal of 4 over 5. That is simply 5 over 4. Or we can check. Since this is cosecant is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Hypotenuse which is 5 over your opposite which is 4. And for the secant, simply flip 3 over 5. That will give you 5 over 3. And for cotangent, get the reciprocal of 4 over 3. That is 3 over 4. That's it for example number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given the problem if sine theta is equal to 3 over 8, find the other 5 trigonometric functions. So we don't have yet the value or the measurement of this uh, the side of this triangle. We only have the clue that the value of sine theta is equivalent to 3 over 8. When you encounter this kind of problem, always remember that sine theta is equivalent to the opposite side over the hypotenuse with respect to your angle theta. So if sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, it implies that the length of this side opposite to your angle theta is equivalent to 3 and your hypotenuse is equal to 8. Therefore, at the measurements natin. Sir, how can we find the other length of this, the length of the side of the triangle? We can use the Pythagorean theorem. We have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. We're in, this is your, we can treat this one as your a. So we can have a squared plus b squared. Still, uh, the missing variable is b, while your c is equal to 8 because that is your hypotenuse. And 8, oh, 8 raised to 2, that is 64, is equal to 9 plus b squared, wherein we can transpose 9 to the other side. That will become 64 minus 9 is equal to b squared. And simplifying this, this will give you 55 is equal to b squared, wherein get the square root of the equation, your b is equal to the square root of 55. So we can say that this is square root of 55. Again, this is your opposite side. This is your hypotenuse. And the length of your adjacent side with respect to your angle theta is square root of 55. So we can, we can now find the value of cosine theta, wherein your cosine theta is equivalent to adjacent over hypotenuse. That is square root of 55 over 8. And for your tangent, theta, that is equivalent to opposite over the adjacent side, right? So that is equivalent to 3 over square root of 55. Wherein, we need to simplify this. Kasi hindi pwede yung uh, denominator natin na merong radical. So we can rationalize this, square root of 55 over the square root of 55. And that will become 3 square root of 55 over 55. This is your tangent theta. Okay? Now, let's move on with the other ratios. For the cosecant, the cosecant theta, simply flip this or get the reciprocal of 3 over 8. That will become 8 over 3. This is your cosecant theta. For secant theta, just flip this. You have 8 over the square root of 55. Okay? And rationalize this by multiplying square root of 55 
over the square root of 55. And this will give you 8 square root of 55 over 55. This is your secant theta. And lastly, for the cotangent theta, flip this over. You have the square root of 55 over 3. This is the correct answer. So again, hindi na natin kailangan i-rationalize to because we don't have the radicals in your denominator. Again, check muna natin ha. Cotangent is equivalent to adjacent, square root of 55 over your opposite, which is 3. So, I hope you learned something from this video. This is the first video that we have in the 6 trigonometric ratios under ng series natin about trigonometry. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!